how to use the pencil tool with width profiles in Illustrator. I'm using CC220. Go to the tools and shaper tool and below that pencil tool. On the screen, on the artboard, you can see some strokes already applied with width profiles. Window menu and appearance and properties. The stroke functionality is in both. In earlier versions of Illustrator, it's probably best to use the appearance panel. Just delete those strokes. Apply the pencil tool to the artboard. You can see straight away it has a very basic appearance. Go to the right side menu of appearance panel and you will see new art has basic appearance. Set on. With that set on, every time you apply the pencil, it will always have a basic appearance. Once you've added your pencil stroke, you can always go to the width profile and add a profile. Go to the appearance panel or properties and you can go to the stroke, click on that and then go down to the bottom and set a width profile. You can modify it in numerous ways by using like the width tool as well. With the new basic art set on, you'll always create new pencil strokes with a basic appearance. In most cases, I prefer the opposite and I'll show you how. So I'm just going to remove the current designs. Go to the appearance panel and right side menu and turn the new basic off. If I apply a pencil stroke now, it will still have a basic appearance, but you can modify the width profile and weight. Subsequent applications of the pencil will have the stroke and width profile applied. So stroke and go down to the bottom, set the width profile, select one, and then also set the weight as well as color, etc. Apply the pencil to the artboard. Each and every time I apply the pencil tool, it will have the width profile as well as the weight still set. So it won't be a thin line. You can always go to each and every one of those lines and modify the stroke and the profile using the width tool as well as the profiles themselves. You can also use this with brushes as well as styles as well. Especially useful as the appearance panel allows you to add new strokes to the pencil tool, so multiple strokes. The stroke options are available in appearance as well as the properties panel. Illustrator comes with a very small selection of width profiles. There's a really good tool from Astute Graphics you can find called Width Scribe. Super useful for creating amazing strokes. If you go to the right side menu again and go to the new art has basic appearance, set to on, apply the pencil and you will only get a thin line. You may or may not want that thin pencil line. Pencil strokes are normally quite thin. Personally, I prefer the width profile to be applied, so I always leave it off. Go to the properties panel and click on the stroke. Go down to the bottom and select a profile, any of them. You can also set the weight. Sometimes if you've got a very, very low weight, you virtually can't tell the difference from a thin line to the width profile. And again, apply the pencil tool. You can modify the width as well. You can go to the width tool found in the tools panel and modify the width or the stroke. Hover over the path and you will see a line all the way through. Just go onto that and just drag out, move it in or out, and you will change the width profile. Subsequent pencil strokes will have that width profile applied. Sadly, there appears to be no way of storing those profiles. There is an option, add to profiles in the profiles, but it doesn't seem to actually store the profile for some weird reason, on my version anyway. Maybe you might have more joy. You can also change the color as well. I've been using black all the way through this tutorial, but you can use red, green, blue, etc. You can also add brush strokes. You can also go and add effects via the effect menu and they will be applied as well. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials about Illustrator, Photoshop, and many other applications. 
Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.